Right, so recently I purchased the brand new Rode Wireless Go system. After having it for about a week, this is my seven tips and tricks to get the best out of your Rode Wireless Go. This is a non-sponsored video, but I tell you what, this microphone system is phenomenal. This is a line of sight microphone system. Basically what that means is the receiver and the sender need to be looking at each other to get the maximum capabilities out of this unit. But basically, as long as these two are looking at each other, within 50 to 100 meters, you shouldn't have a problem. But the last thing you want to do is go out on a pay job or go out and start filming a vlog and it cut out right in the middle of the most important. And as far as max distance goes, they say it's about 100 meters. I think we should test that. So this is a microphone test. I am 100 meters from my camera. I have no idea whether this is going to be working, whether the system is still going to be talking to each other, but let me tell you this, if it's working well as I think it is, you'll have an amazing setup. Still about 50 meters away from the camera. Um, obviously, this is just a test. This is an experiment to find out what works, what doesn't. There's a bloke looking at my camera, wondering if you should pinch it or not. But I tell you what, I can come 50 meters pretty quick, bud. So if you want to steal it, you're gonna to have to have a pretty quick off the mark setup. <laughs> You see, what works for one person is not going to work for another. But I tell you what, once you get the sweet spot of your system, you're going to have an amazing experience with the Rode Wireless Go. So now after testing this unit out for about half an hour to 45 minutes, I can now know by going back through my footage that about 25 to 30 meters away, if I'm facing away from the camera, that's when my system cuts out and I will not get any more signal. The line of sight, I had a full 100 meters. Now there wasn't much in between me, a couple of trees, a couple of light posts, but other than that, it was so clear. The range on this thing and the clarity is exactly as it says. For my voice, I know that I need to be on low. The lowest setting, sitting just here, just on my backpack. So tip number two, you need to find the sweet spot for your audio input. Me, for my voice, I know I have to be on low. Because if you start clipping your audio, if you have maximum audio coming in, there is nothing you can do to repair it. But if you have the lowest setting, you can always post-produce, put compression, boost up the volume, and you'll still get clear, crisp audio. But as soon as you start clipping and you get distortion in your audio, your audio is cooked. There's a bloke over there playing a guitar, and I really wanted to go and capture the audio of a live musician, but he's just not real good. So tip number two, tip number two or tip number three, whatever we're up to, the sender unit has the availability to put the windscreen on the microphone. I suggest you get into the habit of using it no matter what the conditions. And the last thing you wanna do is get home and find out that a breath of wind has ruined your audio because you didn't have the windscreen on. It's a simple, quick, easy tool. I mean, it doesn't stay on very well, so just make sure you glue it. <laughs> Righto, tip number four. This microphone system and unit is amazing to add sound effects. To your videos, for example, a very simple scene of me entering, driving in a car, you can use this microphone, place it all around the different scene, and you'll get a much better audio experience. 
Right, tip number five, very simple, very quick. Hide your audio. And, and what I mean by hide your audio, hide your audio device. In movies and sitcoms and television shows, you don't have the microphone in plain sight when you're watching. So why would you do it on YouTube or anything else? You can tell that I'm using a higher quality audio device when I'm making this video, but it's hidden. It's away, you can't see it. And that's the effectiveness of using a better audio device. Now, for this test, I've actually got it on my shirt underneath my jacket. This does one of two things. I think it's a better effect when you can't see a microphone. That's, that's number one. And number two, it acts as a secondary wind screen for the microphone. So if there was a breath of wind or an external bit of noise that you can't control, it's actually covered by a better system. So not only do you have the microphone and the windscreen, you've then got another layer of clothing over the top to hide and mask any unwanted sound that you get. Rode were very clever. They put branding all over it in the hopes that the majority of people would clip it on the outside and show off a bit of advertisement as you're using it. Very clever. But as you can tell, the EQ of the microphone that's picking it up is completely different if it was under my shirt. I think it's a better system hidden away. And here's a quick, simple test. One, two, three, underneath the shirt. One, two, three, outside the shirt. You be the judge, let's get to tip number six. Tip number six has got to do with the microphone placement. Having the microphone set in the exact same position, no matter where you are, isn't going to work. For example, 30 to 40 kilometer hour breeze here today, I'm outside. You want the microphone fairly high so that you don't have to be yelling as much. But for example, if we go inside the car, you don't need the microphone on your person. I've actually got the microphone close down on the dash. The environment in here is so much more soundproof, such a dead space, so you don't need the microphone on you. If anything, it can be a lot further away. But when you go outside again, put the microphone a little bit higher again to compensate for the outside noise and breeze. So tip six, change the microphone position depending on where you are. Right, so that was tip six. Let's get into the final tip, tip seven. Tip seven is very simple. These microphones are unbelievable. But tip seven, add a little bit of post-production. And what I mean by that is a very simple compression, EQ, whatever you need to do to make sure that you get the best out of the microphone. So very quickly, I am using DaVinci Resolve. Let's just pop into it right now. I'm gonna drag a random clip into the timeline. This is just a clip that I had a bit of a go at. Now, if you go into the audio settings, What you have to do is just add a simple compression to that clip. Uh, I like adding a vocal channel. The vocal channel is a very simple tool in DaVinci Resolve. It lets you put a high pass and a compressor and, a, in, and an equalizer automatically into the system. Um, let's get that threshold up a little bit higher. Um, let's cut the ratio down. We want a pretty fast and we want to add that. So, we just Good morning and welcome to the run Let's go seven must do things as soon Pull the gain down computer. just a bit. Basically that's it. Just a tiny bit of compression and a tiny bit of EQ stabilization and a little bit of fixing makes all the difference. Um, they are my seven tips for the new Rode Wireless Go, it is an absolutely phenomenal system, as I said right off the bat. Play around with it, make sure you get comfortable with it. It's 
the more you use it, the better and more familiar you're going to get with the system. Right. Let's talk about tip number six. And tick, tick number six. <sighs> I talk no good. For example, outside, 20 to 30 kilometer hour breeze at the moment here. You want the microphone fairly close up to your top of your face so that the top of your face, yeah, near your mouth hole, near your speaking hole. You want the microphone fairly high up so that your mouth doesn't have to, so your mouth, so your mouth, oh my gosh. Speak much? Movies, sitcoms, you don't have the microphone in plain view when you're watching the video. So when you're making a video for YouTube or any other platform, just hide the, oh, hide the video. Oh, you mother Right, good morning and welcome to my tips and tricks. No, 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 no let's, let's not say that. Right, good morning and welcome to, no, 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 no. Start again. Right, welcome. Oh, Ensby, just start like a normal video. Bought the Rode Wireless Go system. Here are the seven things that you have. Hobart's got quite a stiff breeze happening at the moment. She's about 30, 40, gusting 50 kilometer hour winds. I want it fairly close to my mouth so that the distortion doesn't get picked up too much and of course somebody's gonna interrupt me filming. So we're just gonna test this in the wind. 30 to 40, 30 to 40 kilometer hour wind at the moment. It is blowing straight into my face and straight down the microphone. So this is a chilly wind test, but a wind test nonetheless. Oh gosh, that's cold. Let me, I'll show you how windy it is. I'll just take this off. And that's why I'm saying put this on all the time because you don't want the wind noise to ruin your audio. Put this sucker back on. It's always funny when you start talking to yourself in a camera. A lot of people kind of wonder what the hell you're doing. I just wave. Yep, no, just talking to myself. Yep, 